I play out here, I try to play every Saturday. When it's warmer out, I try to do some afternoons and evenings as well. Arts night out, I try to be out whenever I can. And I'm sometimes in the area and I'm sometimes not. I'd like to travel a lot, so I usually bring my gear with me and set up somewhere for a few months. I've spent a lot of time in Edinburgh, Scotland, which is sort of a second home to me. Um, and so I played there, I lived and played there for a while, a couple of years ago, and I try to go back whenever I can. Um, I studied abroad in Spain in 2009 when I was a junior in college, and I really fell in love with the instrument there. I heard a lot of people playing it on the street, and I already played piano, and so I decided to get an accordion when I got home and try to learn it. And so sure enough, my parents got me this for my 21st birthday, and um, yeah, I learned to play. I didn't think, I didn't initially think I would play on the street, but then I started I tried it out the summer after I graduated college and it actually worked out pretty well. I haven't stopped yet. I really love playing on the street. I've done some venue shows, just variety shows and private parties and I've performed at other contexts and I just get really nervous and I know that's part of it. But on the street I can play whatever I want to play and you know my audience changes every four seconds approximately and so I can really cater to who's there and I don't have to worry about having a whole mass of eyes on me. So I really find I play better on the street when I'm just going off with people and seeing their reactions and I don't get nervous. And so I feel like I can play a lot more expressively. My act is unique and it actually does encourage me to put on a show and to really get into it and maximize my performance. And I'm just really flattered when people like it. This is something that I put a lot of time and money and energy into. So it just makes me really happy when people are pleased with what they see. Music definitely transcends language, and I've noticed that a lot playing abroad, um, and especially in countries where I don't speak the language. I spent last summer in the Czech Republic playing, and people would come talk to me, and I have to, the first thing I have to say is name Lubyub Czeski, I do not speak Czech, and then, um, but then, then nobody guesses that I'm American. Then they say, oh, Ruski or Polski? I assume I'm European of some sort, so um, I like that. Yeah, a musician can be from anywhere. And sometimes with these people, it's worth trying to communicate what they want to say in their tiny bit of English or my tiny bit of, well, not Czech. This is Sylvie. Um, she is new. I got her a year ago. She's my second marionette. Um, I got her, well, I got my first marionette in Mexico just because she was really cute. She was like a tourist souvenir. And I started out, I had Flaka, my first marionette, sitting in my tip box. And then I made her a matching outfit. But she didn't do anything other than guard the tips, and people were asking me what she was going to do. So that gave me the idea to make her do something, specifically to dance. So in the fall of 2012, I put together the puppet theater with Flaka dancing. Um, but she wasn't a great dancer, she was more of a toy. She wasn't really a marionette. So it's, she's still a work in progress. I've got some new features that I want to install. I have a guitar that I'm going to get her playing pretty soon. She can almost take a bow. That it's, it's my show and I have freedom that um, if I need to make money, I can play. But the idea that in times where I'm playing a lot, I'm my own boss and I can decide how much or little I want to play. And mainly I'm just really proud of it. And so being out on the street and doing it and showing everyone what I've got is really satisfying when I get a good response, which is most of the time. Mm -hmm.